What's up, guys? Welcome to UFC 3. Um, I played UFC 2 a while ago. It was a good game. So now we're getting into UFC 3. So... Oh, we're not touching gloves? All right. How is he just taking those after a health event, dude? Oh my... He just kicks my legs. Oh, he's done. He's done. He's done. He's done. He's done! He can't do anything! He's done! Let's go, baby! He took so many shots. That was crazy. Let's go. Okay. I'm just looking at my stats. I had 74 strikes. Jeez. Hey, we got some cash flow, though. We're good. I think I got to go against Alfonso Barnes. Yes. World Fighting Alliance. We're, we're only five. You support everything else identical. <sighs> Excuse me. Are we touching gloves? I'll touch gloves. Yeah, you got some respect, bruh. And I missed. That's cool. Whoa. <laughs> he just keeps coming. What is he doing? Oh, you lucky.
Oh, why do we have to like keep stopping? Oh, he's dead. Wait, what? Why? It wouldn't let me punch. The heck? Oh, here we go. Yeah, he's done. He's done. Hey, kid. Good luck in your fight. Make sure you put on a show for the LFAF crew. Okay. Ah. <sighs> My mom, you've worked so hard. Go out there and show that Mr. Dana White man what you've got. All right, mom. I'm going to go do it. Give Dana no choice but to give you a shot in UFC. Copy that. There's the man. Dana White. And we're always looking for up and coming talent to sign. Back in the day, I used to scout the world looking for new talent. But I haven't done that in years. I'm looking for the next Ronda Rousey, the next Robbie Lawler, the next Conor McGregor. I'm looking for future champions. And I'm willing to go to any show, anywhere in the world to find them. You know Dana White is flowing Super in the cash. The on tonight's card. A lot of tough fighters. Let's see who really wants their shot at the UFC. Like, he has to be so rich. Because he's the president, right? He's the president of the UFC. Okay, we got three inch reach advantage. All right, let's go. I'm ready. Put me in, coach. <coughs> if he wins this fight, I can bring him in. We're not touching gloves. All right. Yeah, what now? Ow. What is your hair, my son? Whoa. 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 Done. And that's all it takes, folks. I love guys that have that enthusiasm and excitement and want to be in the UFC so bad. It's kind of awkward how he looks at the camera. Like, he'll look dead in the lens, and then he'll look behind it. I don't know if he's, like, reading off one of, like, the... I forget what they're called, but it's, like, a projector that has, like, the words behind it. I don't know if he's looking at that, and then he looks at the camera. It's, it's weird. I'm coming for you. You'll see this face soon. Hope you can make it to the big leagues, kid. New contract earned. Wow. Hey. That's good cash flow for just starting. 15K a show. 10 per win. That's 25K a win, boys. Hey, everyone. I'm Megan O'Levy, and this is your UFC Minute. The UFC returns this weekend with a fresh face who is destined to make headlines. When UFC President Dana White went looking for a fight, yeah, he, he is the president. That he would end up with a future UFC star. And those are the expectations after he signed a regional champion who has dominated the local lightweight circuit en route to his Octagon debut this weekend. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. Let's do it. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for his UFC debut. Of course, he was discovered on Dana White looking for a fight, and man, did he shine that night as such. Here so sadly, I had to turn off the music because I don't want to get copyrighted. I, I want to make sure I don't because I just really don't want to deal with that because it's happened too many times in me playing sporting games. It's happened a lot in the MLB games. happened a little bit in Madden, I think, but mostly in the MLB games. 
It's just this guy is an outstanding striker. What he wants to do is too much time. His defense to keep the so I'm just not going to deal with it. Use the takedown defense and a good solid sprawl. And if he does go to the ground. Okay, why are we prancing around the ring like that? And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. And they both possess the same height and a similar reach. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. I love Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. I hope they never change him. He's so good. Big Daddy. Weighing in at 155 pounds. Why didn't they move? Big train? Big train? What? <laughs> what kind of nickname is Big Train? I'm ready. Oh, we're not touching gloves. All right. No way. You catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight. It can have a bigger effect. Two. Two punches. That's all it took. And about two punches in about six seconds. Let's take a look at it again from a different angle. Look at the power. Wow. That's crazy. He looks completely fine. We didn't even beat him up. 12 seconds. Five. Out. Big Daddy. There we go. Alright, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.